We want to tell you about excitement around the world as the World Cup gets underway in Russia. This year's competition symbolizes freedom from an Iranian woman living in D.C. And Sarah Cosmo explains why her family prioritizes sports over politics. I've never been to a soccer stadium before. I've never watched a soccer game live in front of my eyes. Being in a crowded bar among fellow Iranian soccer fans. It's, it's very comfortable. I feel relaxed. I'm just very enjoying myself. Is something Yagane Rezaian could have only dreamed about as a teenager in her native country. It's even more exciting. In Iran, women are banned from watching sports in public places. She says women have to dress up like men at risk of fines and prison to get into stadiums. Rezaian moved to D.C. with her husband, a Washington Post journalist who was part of a prisoner deal in 2016. He spent 544 days in Iranian prison. He has no problem cheering for the national team. They're about pride, nationality, and that really has nothing to do with, with government. It shouldn't. Sometimes people make it about that, but not here, not today. It's not going to make me stop loving and cheering for my team. And what a game it was to watch. Iran beat Morocco 1-0 in stoppage time. It's the second World Cup win in the team's history. In Northeast D.C., Sarah Kanzma, WUSA 9. And Iran will go up against Spain or Portugal next. If they can clinch another win, they will likely be in the knockout stage for the first time in the team's history.